Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is I, the Chapter and Magpie, bringing you a spot more of Shadowrun Returns. So, if you remember, we've just faced off some bugs, helped a lady called Marie Louise escape the Universal Brotherhood, and now we need to go meet a man called Baron Samedi. And within 20 seconds, we hit a loading screen. Oh, that's going to be great for the flow of the storyline. <clears throat> the Union. Getting justice for Sam is going to take more effort than it originally appeared. You didn't anticipate his killer being protected by a cult filled with giant and killable bugs, but she is. And if you're going to get to her, you're going to need to find a way around. Or through those bugs. After a taste of the belonging that the Universal Brotherhood offered, the sordid surroundings of the Seamstress's Union feel more like home than ever. Oh, lovely. Home is where the heart is, and where giant acid-spitting unkillable spectral insects aren't, I guess. Unless you're into that kind of thing. We offer no judgments on this channel. At all. If giant acid-spitting unkillable spectral bugs are your type of thing, then by all means, I'm not here to judge. Right, where, where, where's old Mrs. Kabuto? Uh, we've got a spot of bad news for Cherry Bomb. Cherry Bomb is swamped with customers when she catches a glimpse of you. She gets up on her tiptoes to talk to you over the heads. Hey there, Mags, what's going on? Hey, Cherry, listen, we need to talk about Shane. Shane? What about Shane? It's not good. Sorry, kid. She looks you in the eye. Just tell it to me straight, Max. I'm a Baron's girl. Shane's dead. I can't tell you anything else right now. It's too dangerous, but I thought you should know. My god, Shane. She looks at her customers, then down at the bar top for a long moment before finally composing herself. Thanks for letting me know. Maybe we'll talk later. She continues processing the information, then she remembers something. Oh hey, Johnny Clean asked me to flag you down the minute I saw you. Said he's got something, someone who wants to talk to you. Sound a little freaked out about it. He's waiting for you downstairs. Clean? Freaked out? Alright, I'll talk to him. The wind is out of her sails. Yeah, that'd be whizzer. Alright, what's in the old uh, news today? Oh, I think we've... Uh, I think we might have read this one already. Orc activist encourages... Yeah, we've read this one. Coyote's face is pale and her voice is low and shaky. What the hell was that back there, man? Just what the frag was that? Well... Bugs. Giant fragging bugs. And Sam's sister is the leader. If I didn't see it, there is no way I'd believe it. Giant and killable bugs. She shudders, shakes it off. Fine, whatever. I want that woman dead now more than ever. If you go after her again, you think of me, okay? I'll be around, locked and loaded. Will do. Okay, later. How's John Bartlett doing? Good to see you around here, chummer. Absolutely nothing. Who are these? You look new, Mr. Johnson. The man sizes you up as you approach. His carefully groomed hair and the shine on his shoes seems to be out of place for Barons. Hey, you looking for work? I got a little something if you're up for it. It's a milk run. I'm always up for getting paid. He grins, exposing a set of unnaturally white teeth. Wavy. The job's a simple extraction. The people I represent are interested in acquiring the talents of a scientist named Sada. Unfortunately, Mr. Sada is currently engaged with Renraku, which means he's engaged for life. That doesn't sit well with the people I represent. They see it as a subversion of the free market. And you want me to mis secure Mr. Sada's freedom to work for your people instead? He flashes his pearly white skin. Exactly, but it has to be now. Renraco's shipping Sada out of Seattle in the morning for some sort of overseas research project. Tonight he's being kept hidden in a research facility out here in the Barrens, just a couple of miles from here. I hear they've been bringing in unmarked shipments for weeks now, thinking that nobody notices. We don't care about any of that, we just want Sada before he's out of our reach. The place should be lightly guarded. 
Probably rent a cops. Get in, grab Sada, get out. In exchange, I'm authorizing a remit to 9,000 new yen in payment. He fixes you with a hard stare. I am not, however, authorized to negotiate. I'm in. Let's see the money. We pay on delivery, friend. That's how it always works. I'll send the lab's location to your PDA. Hire a team and head there straight away. Liberate Sada and deliver him to my employers. They'll have a car waiting outside the lab when you're done. Once Mr. Sarda's on his way, meet me back here for payment. Right, spot of kidnapping. Always fun. Who are you, yo, Bobby? Yo, guy, have you been met? You look familiar. I met a lot of people tonight, no problem. You need some brain benders tonight. Oh, I got some of that Merc stuff. Freakers, taxi drivers, you know. Uh, trustable? Nobody was more trustable than old Bobby Kabuto. Wouldn't let me in the place if I wasn't legit. Let me see what you got. Eh, drugs are bad, kids. Right. I guess spot kidnapping before we visit uh, Johnny Clean. Sure he won't mind. Hey, Van Graaf. Hello, stranger. I'm busy right now. So, I hope you've got something worth my time. How about a list of every pro politician the Universal Brotherhood has br bribed to date? I could certainly find someone interested in that information. We'll take some legwork to verify the veras veracity of such a list. How about 2,000? I'll think about it. Which reminds me, we have a... Uh, Etiquettes to do. So much karma. So, so much karma. Alright, so. Unlock a new etiquette. Shadowrunner's always going to be a good one. Could use that more often. Um, intelligence. So we can do up our uh, drones a bit. Get class 5s. Plus 2 HP damage on drones. Plus 2 armor on drones would be good though. This and hacking level 6. That's a good number to have on hacking I think. And what else could we possibly need? SMGs, shotguns, pistols, now we got all this. We're good. Right. That's not bad. Not bad at all, if I do say so myself. Let's talk to good old Van Grass again. You make up your mind, my offer of 2,000 still stands. This info has to be worth a lot more in the next few days. And what am I supposed to take your word for it? He makes eye contact, hesitates. Fine, I'll speculate, but only because I can find you. If this doesn't pan out, 2,500. No more. Hey, Mr. Cluey! You're a mags. Battered, bruised, but not yet beaten. I heard you made trouble with the Universal Brotherhood. Stirred up a hornet's nest, you might say. People are starting to say there is some dark trek going down in those chapter houses. Like they're taking advantage of poor folks who go there looking for help. Gotta say, if that makes my blood boil. It's bad enough that the government labels half the population as probationary citizens. We don't need more people preying on the most defenseless members of society. And I hate to bring race into it, but it's fact that a good number of people who go to a brotherhood for help are methods like me. But what options do we have? Do you realize that it would take an act of Congress to grant me full citizenship? And they have yet to do it once. Wars are started more easily than a meta gets a sin in this country. So it's no wonder we turn to people like the Brotherhood, who claim to listen to our woes and speak on our behalf. He catches himself, takes a breath and visibly calms. Sorry, I just know some folks who went to a Brotherhood for one of those very reasons. Might have ended up there myself if Mr. Kabuto hadn't taken me in. Whatever's going on, I trust you put to an end to it, one way or another. You can count on it. Go get him, sir. Right. 
so we got paid. We need to form a team, though. Where's Watts' chops? Where's my Merc captain? Hmm, what's this? Why is there a triangle over one of you guys? It's over Cherry, but it doesn't appear to be going away. Okay, let's head downstairs. There's Mr. Delilah. Let's talk to some folks first. Dr. Castle? For once, Dr. Castle is not utterly absorbed in her work. In fact, she seems to have set aside whatever she's doing to give you her full attention. Perhaps word has spread about what you've already faced and what is still to come. I'm certainly glad to see you're alright, Max. I was afraid they'd be carting you back to me in pieces. I don't suppose it would do me any good to suggest an early retirement, or at the very least that you might delay whatever is coming long enough for you to get a decent night's sleep and a full meal? There are things that need doing, and I'm the one to do them. And I imagine those were the last words spoken by many brave idiots. Ah, oh, but who am I kidding? I know your type all too well. Words of caution have little worth, and words of prohibition only make you more eager to throw yourself into the fire. You like children that way. So fine, do what you will. Just tell me I can do to keep you alive that much longer. What you heard, Doc? Well, let's review in the past few days. I've lost one patient, nearly lost a second. I've also re learned that a man claiming to be a fellow doctor was responsible for the first of those deaths. And now I have another supposed force for good that has come committing heinous acts on innocent men and women. Quite frankly, it's almost enough to make a woman give up on the whole human race. But then I remember that why I don't. I remember how many innocent lives Mrs. Kabuto has saved by giving them place and purpose here at the Union. I remember seemingly useless waste of flesh like Pas Paco risking their lives to save the ones they love. I remember that some people are willing to stand up against those who would do seek harm to others. And that's the real reason you won't hear me argue against your chosen course of action. Because I agree that it must be done. I only hope it can be done without any more innocents coming to harm. If I could make that deal, I would. Then do the next best thing. Put an end to this. I'd like to wake up in a world short one less evil. Now how can I make that happen? Cyberware, Doc. Let me see what you got. Hmm. Alphaware. Jesus, this stuff's expensive. Omnitech, Cyberleg. Alphaware as well. Uh, that would be good for Universal Omnitech basic cyber legs. Those magnetizing eyes. No, oh, magnification eyes, not magnetizing. Who'd want magnetic eyes? Let's see what Algy's up to. The magic dealer's area is a buzz of chaotic activity as you watch the contents of a dozen boxes fly through the air. The articles land on Algernon's table in some elaborate sorting scheme while the man himself casually sits reading a magazine from the previous century. Welcome, Mags. Is there anything in I might provide to make your life easier? Or perhaps make another's more difficult? Ever heard of a bug spirit or a bug shaman, Algernon? Viel's face turns into a grimace. I'm sorry, I find the very fourth repugnant must understand a shaman does not follow the literal incantation of his totem. One who pledges himself to a cat does not drink milk from a saucer or claws for drapes. Instead, a shaman follows the ideals of his totem. Dog is less a canine and more a symbol of loyalty. Coyote is less a scavenger and more a trickster. So you can understand why I find the idea of an insect totem so foreign. To what quality must a shaman aspire in such a case? A chill visibly runs through him. Please, let us speak of more pleasant things. Perhaps commerce. Let's see what we got. Hmm. Yeah, nothing I really want from you, Algy. Sorry, mate. Eric Mersman. Yeah, guy. Got some armed clothing here if you're interested. Let's see what you got. High grade street armor. Mechanic, really good armor, plus drone control boosts. 
Argent oh, provocateur. Hmm. TB Gruberman. Hey, TB. Interested in some real firepower? Show me what you got. Not that I can bloody afford anything now. Ooh. Aruga Super Warhawk. Range combat 5 required. Cult Manhunter. Aruga Thunderbolt. Lone Star's favourite heavy pistol. Definitely heading for one of those soon. How are we on the old drone front, my friend? S-Class drones are now available. As are A-Classes. Steel links. You hear that, Mr. Tumnus? Might be able to buy you a new chassis soon. Uh, but first we've got to spend the last of our new yen talking to Mr. Delilah. In fact, we need a med kit before we set out. Should probably sell some of this old crap. We'll have a basic. Hey, Mr. Delilah. Where can you send us, my friend? What, you need runners again? Good. Got some new contracts. Some primo mercs. I need to put a team together for hitting a Renraku lab. Christ, I have to pay Coyote for this one too. Oh my god, these guys are pricey. Really pricey. Hmm. Huh. Coyote's got an upgrade on her weapons, so... I'll take Coyote, and then I can afford... Oh, some Nephilim Network's offering us some mercs for cheap. Combat Decker, Combat Adept. Burned Out Mage. El Duce. Screw it, let's just go for pure firepower. We're going to need it. In fact, if we get rid of Coyote, we can... Another Rigger wouldn't be too bad. Support Mage, Alexander Falk again. Tech Master... That uh, will take this chap, El Duce, and we'll have uh, Coyote. Seems the best fit. No, we can't afford any more bloody shadow runners. Corporate extraction. You leave Tauristville behind you and make your way into the Barrens proper. Existing civilization as you know it, with each step, the little order that still exists falls away, taken over by anarchy in its purest form. All semblance of government oversight, corporate domination, even media influence disappears, leaving an urban feral landscape of bleak desperation. Yet hidden in this wreckage of a suburb, Renraku Corp Computer Systems has some hidden R&D research lab, probably to take advantage of some old tech left after the Shiwase nuclear power plant meltdown or the crash that decimated the computer industry in 29. You find your way into the lab, place has definitely seen better days. No security systems are online to greet you. Just the ones made of meat. Maybe you can help a scientist make a life change. Hmm. Right, and we're off. Not much to really update. No equipment to really put in. We've got pure combat. There's El Duce. Move around the side. Oh, Drek. Lone Star Guards. Huh. Browning Max Power. Ooh. Not bad as far as pistols go. Mr. Tumnus online. Go down the side, boy. 
I will head here. And hopefully put a round into this chap. Nope, unlucky for me. In that case, we'll shift Coyote closer. And she can finish him. Right. Anything from the side. Looking pretty quiet. Worryingly so. El Duce, you move up there. Coyote as well. You get behind the cover, girl. Mr. Tumnus, you try and draw fire here in case anything comes through that door. Right. There is definitely somebody coming through that door soon, so... Oh! Wait, what do we have here? There was... Oh, shit! Oh, shitty, 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 shit. Get rid of Lone Star. Boom. El Duce, can you handle the last of them? Okay, two rounds. And another one from me. Polishes him off. And we can send Mr. Tumnus through here. That's interesting. That means we can see the enemies are... Uh, Movements. Alright. Breach the door. Run around the side here, please, El Duce. And put a good couple of rounds in him. Coyote, how are you doing in terms of... Ah, uh, shit. You get around the side as well. Ah, and you can't fucking see him. Magic. Oh, I did not notice you two. I did not notice you two at all. Hello from Mr. Tumnus. Okay, we've got assault rifle, pistol, possibly a shotgun. And definitely a shotgun. Right, I'll do cheap. God in heaven, that guy's armoured. I'll move up here. Finish him off. El Duce, you... Try and get them. Coyote, you concentrate on the big fucker. And Mr. Tumnus, keep this fucker occupied. Bastard. <laughs> Well, he can't aim for Toffee, so that's alright. This is quite bad now, actually. As that grenade has reduced me to half health. Oh, fuck. Ah, the FN. Move up here, give Tumnus some support. I shall eat a yummy level 1 med kit for my dinner. Tumnus bot! Continue with the fire. And we'll end the turn. I don't know if he's trying to escape something. 
Good God, Tumnus bot. Thank you. At last, somebody able to hit. Go to you, reload. And move the fuck forward. Alright. Miss. Well, El Duce, you also reload. And move forward. The smell hits you for, like a fist, the tang of blood, the funk of animal fowl, and something else. Something wrong. Oh, shit, not more bugs. Please don't tell me they've brought bugs from the abyss here. Uh, I'll move that. Right. Um, time to spot. You open the door. hoo 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 that's quite a crowd. Lone Star, Heavy Gunner, Enforcer, Corporate Mage. Right, we want the Gunner. You morons just shot up a Renraku research lab. Ever hear of Renraku? Yeah, for a company that's about to show a loss on the balance sheet. I have a fragging herd of basilisks, idiot. You're gonna need a lot more guys. Right, um... What do we have? Oh, high explosive grenades. We will have those, yes please. Yum, 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 yum. Another one. Where can we get coyote in cover? Just here, I think. Any equipment? No, it's probably better off to fire and hope to God she doesn't miss. Shit. Mr. Dumbness, prepare fire support. Mages, shit, the bed, what is that, um, fuck, just grenades, I don't use grenades enough, <laughs> fuck it, it's doing well, who cares, um, peg him a few more times please. Mr. Tumnus, in fact, Coyote, you also give them a grenade. Thank you, dear. Shit. I'll just stand up here and occasionally peg them with heavy fire from my handgun. Thank you, Mr. Tumnus. You can hit stuff. Oh no, don't aim for me. Why do you always aim for me? Oh, it's not fair. Oh, fuck. Petrifying gaze, all AP lost. Oh, shh. Shitty, 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 shit. It's dead. Now, oh, and it's removed the petrifying gaze, which means we can shotgun the heavy gunner. Excellent. Excellent. I'll just stand in the back and plink a few shots at them. Ah! 
Oof. That was nasty. Bugger. Ah, you miss. You prick. Go fuck around with this system. See what it does. Um, we'll take... Killer. Erosion. Medi. IP attack. Reload. Seeing as we're at long range, we'll switch to rifle. Oof. Oh no, seeing as I'm in, um... Cyberspace. Mr. Tumnus can't be used. Fuck you. Right, Matrix Turret Controls. Please deal with him. Now we heal. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He's charging something. He's charging something. He's charging something. He's charging something. Kill him. Kill him very fast, please. Keep on begging away at him. Alright, um... Killer, level one. Who's that again? There we go, you're cordially invited to eat my shit. Anything around here? Turrets, please. Turret IFF is now friendly. And we can get out of here. Done. And also reactivate Mr. Tumnus. Right, there can't be many more of them, so... El Duce, you move into here. Oh dear. There are quite a few of them. There are quite a lot few of them. Um, I think this is a good place to leave it for now, folks, seeing as we've just hit the 33 minute mark on the video. Um, catch me next time where I'll be completing this wondrous, wondrous battle. Thank you so much for watching. Tatty bye!